<laughs> hey, can I ask y'all a question? Yeah. And I'm just, I want y'all to answer it because they say I hate Euros anyway. Okay. Do the big media give Euros this long leash? Hey, just play basketball. Jason Tatum damn near can't be an, uh, uh, a superstar because a 25 year old can't make Tatum. it a win a championship. Good ball fake. One more. Tatum. Oh, he caught one. Punched it on. And then you have Luke over here who's compared to Michael Jordan. Gets it to Jordan. Michael challenges and slams. And he's James Harden. Welcome to the Dark Times channel. And before I go ahead and get started, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you're not new to the channel and you enjoy the content so far on this channel, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me as well. And so recently, Gilbert Arenas came out and said something that I've always said on this particular channel when it pertains to Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic is basically the same player as James Harden. He's going to shoot a lot of step back threes. He's going to try to draw contact, going to try to draw the foul. He's going to make people on his team and people around him better. He's going to elevate their games. They're going to have a high usage rate. And so we're talking about the same player. The only difference is one of them is a black American standing around six foot five. And the other one's a European player standing around six foot eight. He's literally James Harden, right? A dude who scored a lot of points, don't play no defense, right? But we we see what they did to James Harden, who didn't play defense. They let the world know he didn't play no defense. They let the world know he was a one-sided player. This is all he do. He's just a stat. Luca is considered the next Michael Jordan. The Michael Jordan who played defense and offense, and we have one-sided where we play, oh, one-sided. Well, we know what that looks like. That's James Harden. Can he say he's better than James Harden at scoring? Can't even do that. They can't even, you can't even argue that he's a better scorer than James Harden in that same category. And I don't always agree with Gilbert Arenas, but Gilbert Arenas is right on the money with this one. When James Harden was on the Rockets, he was carrying those Rockets teams carrying them to the playoffs every year, carrying them to the Western Conference Finals every year. And truth be told, James Harden probably would have won a chip or two, but he kept going up against one of the best teams ever assembled in the Golden State Warriors. He was going up against a Stephen Curry, a Klay Thompson, a Draymond Green, a Kevin Durant, taking them to a game seven in the Western Conference Finals. And they still crucified him and picked apart his game. Say he didn't play any defense. He was just a stat stuffer. Out of 39 games, he's, he scored over 30, 30, 30 or more. He scored to 28, 28, 29, and everything was 30 and above. Understandable. He was considered just a one-trick yeah. pony. So what we're doing is because Luca gets more rebounds because he's 6'10", 6'9 and a half, we... we 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 give it some type of oh, I get it. Um, for sure. you know we give it some type of oh man this is great because the stat looks good but where's the winning where's the defense if you're gonna call the spade a spade call it a spade a spade yeah. he does one thing very well Seems scoring like he gets a pass to Mavs don't make the playoffs last season oh it's Kyrie's fault you know it, they should be yeah. I'd say higher in the Western Conference this season. I mean, he's going to go in the playoffs, play he's going to go in the playoffs, he's going to torch the shit out, whoever guarding him, right? <laughs> That's what it is, but is he going to stop anybody? No. So, you know, treat all the one-sided players like one-sided players. That's all I'm saying. But it just seems like they get a little leeway, right? Joker gets a little leeway for only playing offense, you don't. <laughs> right, no one's ever said, oh man, Joker can't guard nobody. No one cares. Right? <laughs> no one gives two shits. And before I go any further, let me go ahead and address people in the comment section because I know people in the comment section are going to be talking about I'm just hating on Europeans. I'm hating on Luca. I'm complaining. Victim mentality. And so does a double standard exist? God dang right it exists. Is it fair? It doesn't matter. Right and wrong is in the eyes of the beholder for the most part. And the sooner that you can understand that, the better off you'll be and the less confused you'll be about life. 
if you're in a position where you can control the narrative and you can control the image, then that's exactly what you're going to do. That's how society is run. Doesn't matter about right or wrong to certain individuals. It's about what you can do. It's about what you can get away with. Because we've seen this before. We've seen this play out over and over again, especially within the NBA. I'm not going to say Steve Nash was overrated. Nah, never mind. Scratch that. Steve Nash was overrated. And he never deserved any of those MVPs that he got. And you're talking about somebody that benefited from a Mike D'Antoni system. We saw what Jeremy Lin did with Mike D'Antoni. He went from 28 and 8 over three games. He's averaging 28 and 8. 25. But he went from the bench to that, basically. Shot clock at 8. Splits the defense again. Gets to the rim. Pops it in. And so we're talking about some ultra inflated numbers for anybody who's running a Mike D'Antoni offense. Steve Nash was averaging 15.5 points a game and 11 and a half assists the first year he won MVP. That same year, Allen Iverson was averaging 30.7 points a game and eight assists. The next year, Steve Nash won it, averaging 18 points a game. Allen Iverson was averaging 33 points a game and darn near eight assists. Now, if we really want to get real about it, the real reason why the NBA had Steve Nash win back-to-back -back MVPs and then followed it up with Dirk Whiskey is because the NBA thought they had an image problem, or at least David Stern thought that the NBA had an image problem because the years that Steve Nash won it was directly following the malice in the palace. This guy runs into the stands to swing at a fan. A guy half his size of oh, Steven Jackson's up there swinging at people. And you can say what you want and people can say what they want, but the Malice in the Palace was probably one of the biggest black eyes in NBA history. Probably one of the biggest black eyes in sports history. And so what did the NBA do? Or better yet, what did David Stern do? He handed the award to Steve Nash. Steve Nash was the first MVP that had pedestrian offensive numbers and couldn't play a lick of defense. I went back and looked through all the former MVPs. All of them had at least made a first or a second all defensive team, even the great Larry Bird. And truth be told, Steve Nash underachieved with that Phoenix Suns team. Put a prime James Harden with that same Phoenix Suns team. Give James Harden an Amari Stoudemire. Give James Harden a Joe Johnson. Give James Harden a Sean Marion. Because if you surrounded any other former MVP of the 2000s with that same cast, I guarantee you they would have won a chip. And so like Gilbert Arena said, in a perfect world, we would call a spade a spade. If we're going to have rules and interpretations for one set or one group of people or one group of players, then we should have the same interpretations for all players. But we don't do that. It's not a perfect world. It's the reality that we live in. And once again, I'm not complaining. Pointing out how things work is not complaining. It helps with confusion, so when people look at it, they can understand why things operate the way they operate. But I'd like to hear y'all's opinion on this one, so make sure y'all go ahead and chime in in the comment section on this one. I definitely want to hear what y'all got to say, and as usual, peace and chaos.